Okay, this how-to video is going to walk through the, the basics of doing a manual test prep, which gives the ability to, to turn vials or pad stacks into a test point, so you can then output a jig information for a semi-circuit test on your PCB. So if we go to manufacture test prep menu, um, in all cap PCB designer standard, we're only going to get the manual option. If we go to the professional license, all cap PCB designer professional, or the Allegro PCB designer license, we're going to get an automatic function. Um, so I've got some parameters that I can look at, so I can then decide what sort of testing I want to do. Maybe I just want to use vias. Um, it's got to be a through hole via. It's only on the bottom side of the board. Um, I want to mark it with either a net name or I can say let's have it specific like TP1, TP2. So I'm going to use the TP reference. Um, I then need to pick the, tad, the test pads I want to use. So in the bottom side of the board, I just want to use the via. So let's just pick the via from the available list. Um, and I can also replace a VAR. If I had an existing VAR, this VAR here, and I wanted to use a specific test VAR that was maybe a slightly bigger pad or had the solder mask cleared, um, so I could then probe on it, I could use a specific test location. On this example, I'm not going to. Probe types tend to come in more when you're doing automatic because you may have kind of a, a, a clearance, a, a 2.54 millimeters clearance, uh, and a 0.127 or 1.27 millimeter clearance. Um, and you want to kind of have set different rules between the probe diameters, you can kind of enable that. So let's just close that, close that. Then we're going to manufacture test prep and manual, and then it's just a matter of picking the via. So I'm going to, you know, pick a via tray. So let's pick the via. I'm happy with that. Right mouse button next. That's now test point one. Pick the next via. Next. Work my way through. And this is kind of how you would then work and define the vias that you want to do. What you want to be test points. Once you're finished with that, it obviously comes onto a specific layer. So if we turn off, um, let's just turn off the top and the bottom of the boards. What you'll see is I get a specific graphical representation of the test point that I'm using. I can output that. So if I go to the tools, the manufacturer test prep, I can create a fixture. I can create an NC, NC drill data. Um, there's a report file, so I can go and use the test prep report that would start to give me generation about the, the, the percentage of the board that's been done, where the test points are, what they're using, what the name of the test points are, etc. through the list. So that's quite a useful function.